All right, thanks, Jordan, to talk about the background information about our innovation. Now I will talk about the technical detail of our robot. Well, for a robot, there are three parts, mechanics, electronics, and the embedded control. So we will start from the mechanics. We use computer editing design software to help illustrate how our robot will work. So we can see it here, there are two positions. We use the parallel program linkage design to achieve an ideal movement. So we can see, with the skewed push rod pushed at the bottom right jump of the parallel program, the parallel program will transform from sitting position to a nearly linear sleeping position. And also you can switch back also. So with this design, we only need one push rod that we can achieve two ideal positions. So our mechanics design assure that uh, our robot is capable to move the body position of a shoulder from sitting to lying or reversely. And also, we can adjust height for different height of wheelchair and bed because there's a vertical push rod that can adjust height to any height of the wheelchair or bed. And also, the side, the skewed push rod can change the inclination to fit all the wheelchair. And we can easily move around with real base. And we want to have adjustable base size for storage purpose. And then we have electronics. So for electronics, the first thing is the push rod. This is the push rod in the cat fire shop, you see. So there's a motor right here, and this part is the transmission. And then there's a one gear and one. With one gear and one, the motor can create a huge uh, force that can withstand it up to 100 or 150 kilograms of the person and also it is super easy to control with DC current and also you have the feature of self lock so what is that mean? if the power is cut off but the motor will remain the position it is before so it is very safe for the elder and then it's the control part each bridge each bridge is, can provide 24 watt power supply to the push rod and also it has easy DC control with PWM signal which is the it's very, which is very convenient for our programmer. And then the last one is the MCU micro control unit. We use STM32 family instead of famous Arduino because the price are really similar. And for STM32 it's a very mature platform and there are a lot of free open library for programmer. And as you see this one is a real cheap and uh, this chip is only 30 bucks, which is similar to the Arduino price. But there are much more ports on it, so we can attach more uh, sensors later. And then finally, we come to the embedded control. So in the embedded part, we want to use feedback system, safety system, and user interface to create a safety and the easy control mode for our users. So in the feedback system, we will have the angle feedback, which is an encoder. We had, we had the encoder in one of the joints of parallel program, as shown in the second picture. Right? So the user won't detect it. And also for wiring, we will hide the wiring in the, in the linkage bar, which is also very convenient. And then the safety system. So in the safety system, we use three kinds of sensors to provide safety guarantee. For X axis we have MU calculation. For Y axis we will have MU and encoder for previous slide calculation to ask the comparison. If there's a big conflict, then we will pause the movement. And then it's the Z axis. The distance sensor will feed back the distance from the ground. If we detect that the device is not on the firm ground, and then we will not start the moving. So this is an acceleration detection sensor, MPU 0050MU. So it can detect the uh, acceleration in six axes, X, Y, Z, and alpha, beta, gamma axis. And then we have the ultrasonic distance sensor. We use ultrasonic to bounce and then calculate the time, the, the difference of time, and then get a very accurate distance. And then the last one, the user interface. We will use Android project as an example. So this is the control panel, very intuitive and very simple. And then we will need a Bluetooth device, HC05 Bluetooth module. So
So our user, both caregivers, the family, or even the elder himself, can use their mobile phone to connect to the device and control it themselves. And then uh, I will move to Leo to discuss the benefits. Thank you.